maliit na pusit. Sure. Bagay ito actually sa puto. Kasi puto ang hindi nabuan. It's always a perfect combination. Parang tayo. Perfect combination. <laughs> <gasps> now, aside from that, she also have this cha nar nar, and this cha nar nar is very concentrated. All you have to do is like this is like DIY cha in a bottle. Mukbang mukbang, di ba? <coughs> Hello everyone. Hello my dear. If you are new to this channel, my name is Nick Trinidad, and please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell you to be notified on my latest video. Obviously, ngayon, I'm having a staycation here at Liston Swan Park Hotel. And because today is uh, Thailand's holiday, and uh, I also need a new environment for me to uh, relax or chillax. So, this time, so I ordered different foods from Filipino-owned businesses here in Thailand. Yes, you got it right. Correct. Ito actually ay ang mga in order ko for my dinner and uh, galing ito sa mga iba't ibang Filipino owned businesses. So we have here, first we have our famous Lola's Pinoy style spaghetti. I ordered lechon belly kare kare from Lens Dessert and Restaurant. I also ordered turon. Oh my god, turon. Ang laman ng turon na ito is banana, I'm ah, sorry, R, banana, uh, ube, at saka langka. Imagine kung ano kasarap and that stays later on kung masarap ba talaga siya. And of course, I also ordered one of the famous restaurants here in Thailand. Ang pinaka-pioneer actually, the oldest and the original um, restaurant, Filipino restaurant here in Thailand. Ang Mabuhay Restaurant. New Mabuhay Restaurant. I ordered Dinuguan. Mm. So, and I also ordered Adobong Pusit. Okay? Alam niyo kung ano yung maliit na pusit? Tsura! <laughs> yes, and maybe you're wondering bakit meron kong mga tea dito. This is actually owned by a friend and my classmate from Ateneo of Life, LSE Bangkok. And she owns uh, Payom Boba Milk Tea. I have green tea over here and then I have brown sugar here with bubbles. With sago sago. Oh my god. With boba. With pearls. Okay, set up nito. I actually went to uh, her store a while ago. Here's the video. I visited their store and I met two of my classmates, Martin and Narnar. And aside from that, she also have this Cha Narnar. And this Cha Narnar is very concentrated. All you have to do is like, this is like DIY Cha in a bottle. And then all you have to do is just get a crushed ice. Lagay nyo sa my cup. And you can use this. This is actually concentrated, so you can produce uh, like two glasses or big glasses, a size uh, as big as this, uh, out of this uh, signature Thai milk tea. They have different flavors. Signature Thai milk tea. I ordered also uh, Taiwanese milk tea. And I also have here Nong Yen. I also ordered this dark cocoa flavor. So I ordered two signature Thai milk tea. I already tasted this if you're familiar during my uh, previous video during Ateneo of Life LSE Bangkok. She also sponsored this milk tea sa aming mga students sa Ateneo of Life LSE Bangkok. All you have to do is just shake, 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 shake well before you're going to pour. Okay. So, special thanks and mention also to Lynn Dessert for giving me free rice. Aww. But it's okay. I also need time for myself. Me time ito. Okay? Don't worry guys. I'm not going to finish this for dinner lang. Because I'll be here until 3 p.m. So, meron pang... Yeah, there's actually free breakfast. Pero meron pang... 
lunch and syempre may pa-snacks pa tayo before going back to my condo tomorrow. Okay? Kasi this is not just the, this is not just vacation pero parang work na rin siya. And at the same time I'm going to update the business plan of my advisory class. I'm going to uh, uh, contact our sponsors for PBL Season 2 or Pinoy Basketball League Season 2 on March 21 na. So I'm going to have a video about that. Okay? And I have my rice here. So I think um, unahin ko muna yung ano. Yung ang gusto nyo? Turon. Let's try. Oh my god. Medyo sticky siya guys. But it's okay. I already washed my hands. Don't worry. Safe po tayo. <laughs> Oh my god, ang turon ni Ate Lynn, dessert. Wow. You can see the ube, you can see the uh, banana, and may langka here. Oh my god. Ate Lynn, ang turon mo is so sarap. Ang sarap. I can taste the ube, the langka, and then the banana. What I like for Toron, dapat soft talagang banana. I don't really like yung banana na medyo matigas. Matigas! <laughs> no, what I mean is, gusto ko talaga yung medyo ano, luto na ng banana. Don't think too much, okay? Don't think too much. Mm. Gusto ko yung soft talaga na banana. And then, it is so soft. Tamang-tama lang yung, ano niya, yung tamis niya. At the same time, naglalaro yung flavor ng ube, ng langka, and then ng banana. Okay? So, diniliver na ito kasi for like uh, 20 minutes ago. So, medyo soft na rin yung wrapper niya. Pero you can still feel the, the crunch, the crispiness ng, uh, ano, ng wrapper niya ito sa labas. Oh my God! Mm. As much as I want to eat everything, but I have to taste five. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Wait a minute. Wala ko ng serving spoon. Kasi pag pinakamay daw, mabilis makanis. Eh, makanis. <laughs> I'm back. I'm the list, diba? So one man show lang po tayo. So ako lang po yung tagahano din. Tag-organize ang aking mukbang na ito. Okay, so I'm going to open this brown sugar. Oh my god. Mmm. Sarap. Yung black pearl niya, super duper soft talaga. Oh my god. Minsan may mga black pearl talaga ni medyo matigas siya pag nililok mo dito. Para mapipil mo talaga sa stomach mo na ang bilog pa siya. <laughs> Dito, counting effort lang. Ang sarap na, oh my god. Okay, and then, medyo gutom na ako. So I have to taste this one. Adobong kusit ni New Mabuhay Restaurant. I bought this adobong kusit for only 180 baht. More or less, mga 200 something siya. 200 plus siya pesos. Ayan. Gusto ko kasi sa, uh, sa posit, hindi masyadong overcooked. Kasi medyo matigas na siya pag overcooked siya. Tikman natin ang adobo posit ni Nimo Buhay Restaurant. Overcooked, hindi undercooked. Tamang-tama lang talaga. You can still feel the crunch. Tama lang yung saltiness niya. At saka yung vinegar niya. Hindi siya overpowered. Sarap! Mm. Isman natin yung
hindi nubuan niya it's a little bit thick that's what I like for hindi nubuan hindi ako nang sobrang watery na hindi nubuan kasi parang ano commercial siya pag watery ito tamang tamang lang not so watery not so super thick and then you can smell the you can smell the vinegar you can smell the other ingredients that you can put in it oh my god so let's taste it in English the new one is called vampire stew blood stew because it's from the blood of uh, the pig it's from the blood of the pig Cooked with entrails, with intestine, originally in the Philippines with intestine, with entrails, and then with meat as well, with fats, and then uh, let me see if there are intestine that are Pinoy style. Mm. Sarap ng pag-asim niya. Sarap ng pag-asim ng ginagawa niya. I highly recommend it actually to my friends. Ko. Sabi nila, I asked them, ano pang dapat kainin ko sa ano? Sa may uh, uh, Nemo Boy restaurant. Sabi nila, ginuguan doon, edabong po state, sabi nila. Then ako, yung ino naman, I'm a chef, so I can eat anything. Wala, hindi ako mapili sa food, so, then yan, I ordered. I followed what they say. Kasi, nakikinig ako. <laughs> Ang sarap. The new boy restaurant is located. So it's a bit soy forty two na siya. So it is just like few minutes walk from Prakanong BTS station, and then makita mo just walk a few minutes. Pasok ka lang sa soy forty two. Then makita mo na siya. para medyo ma-overpower yung langsa kasi nga it has intestine, it has entrails, yung ibang parts pa organs ng uh, pork or ng pig kaya dapat yung talaga it so good yung saltiness niya tamang-tama lang bagay ito actually sa puto kasi puto ang dinugunan is always a perfect combination parang kaya perfect combination <laughs> Sorry guys, wala kong shadow ng spoon dito eh kasi good for two lang. So I'm going to use this for Oh my god. Lechon belly kare kare. Imagine that. Lechon belly na tapos kare kare pa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kakain mo 'yun. Look. And then I always love to eat vegetables sa kare kare. Imagine ha, ang daming uh, cooking methods yung pinagdaanan ng kare-kare na ito. Ng lechon belly. Diba? Ni roasted, ni roasted pa siya. Roasted belly pa siya. Ni roasting. Tapos, may boiling pa. Stewing pa, simmering pa. Lahat na lang. Yung mga blanching pa yung mga vegetables. Diba? Ang daming pinagdaanan ng kare-kare na ito. Pwes. Tikman natin kung may pinagdadaan ng kare-kare nito. Wait, para may nakita akong... Check ko lang ha, kung meron bang mga uh, ano ito. Meron bang uh, uh, ginamos or bago So yun nga, chinek ko, walang shrimp paste siya. Pero nakita ko sa picture kanina, meron shrimp paste. Siguro din mix already sa may kare-kare nito. So, let me just taste it. Imagine crispy yung skin niya. Kanina. Mm. 
Meron na nga bago. Minix na yung bago nito. I can taste it. I like kasi yung pagka-blanch ng, ng vegetable. Tamang-tama na, hindi siya overcooked. Kasi makaka-feel pa yung, yung crunch ng vegetable. Kasi yun yung pet siya. Mapapil mo talaga eh, yung flavor ng, ng pork belly while eating kare-kare. Di ba ang kare-kare tasty na eh? Ang dami nang naglalarong taste sa kare-kare. Plus sa pork belly ko, oh my god. This is my new favorite. Pork belly kare-kare ni Lean Dessert. Wow, order na yung guys. Di ba? Wala nang dive-dive ito. Maganda din sana pag na-highlight yung ano. You know, I, I think it's better also if you're going to eat this kung mag-dine in. Kasi you can still feel the crispiness of, uh, of lechon belly. Yung skin ng lechon belly. Kasi pag mag-deliver na siya, masubmerge siya sa, sa sauce ng, ano, ng kare-kare. So mas masubmerge siya sa water to absorb some water as well. So hindi na siya magiging crispy. And then, kaya medyo hindi mo siya masyado makain yung skin. Pero, I suggest na dapat mag-time in kayo sa Lean Dessert and Restaurant. Lagi ko yung address dito. So, yun nga, I'm going to update you later on if I'm going to eat the spaghetti, Gulf's Kitchen Spaghetti and Lynn Dessert, Yemma Cake, the famous ever Yemma Cake, and I'll update you kung ano yung taste nila. Okay? So, there you go, my dear. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below kung ano yung mga masuggest nyo na gusto nyo i-vlog ko in the future and kung ano pang anong favorite nyo sa mga foods na kinain ko ngayon. Okay? Bye everyone! See ya! Hello everyone! Welcome back! And I came from the fourth floor and I'm just done swimming. And I'm a bit hungry. You saw in the first part of this video, I ordered Lola's Kitchen Pinoy style spaghetti. This is actually my favorite. Look at this. Oh my god. Lola's Kitchen Pinoy style spaghetti. I can eat all day. <laughs> so we're going to review the Lola's Kitchen Pinoy style spaghetti. Actually, I've been to Lola's Kitchen many times already, but I haven't uh, made a vlog about Pinoy style spaghetti. And this is only for like 180 baht with chicken that's their like value meal but this bilao this is a small size bilao and this is only 450 but and then you can they can actually deliver for free around bangkok thailand all right it goes with uh, pinoy cheese Kaya ang taste niya talaga is really very Pinoy. Charan. So let's eat, let's eat. Mm. 
This reminds me of my grandmother's spaghetti. And my mom, my nana, is actually very good in cooking as well. She cooks one of the best spaghetti in the world. But unfortunately, I cannot go back home. Kaya, mabuti na nang Lola's kitchen is there. Para maibsan yung ating homesickness, especially sa mga cravings of food. No? For only 450, small size na lang ito. How much more for big sizes for for uh, uh, more numbers of friends or mas maraming small size four to five persons na. But if you're going to order for large group or with the uh, numbers of uh, friends, so you can have large, medium as well. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. The only thing that is different is your hot dog. Kasi na sanay tayo sa Philippines na pula yung hot dog. Pula. But here in Thailand kasi it is not uh, available in the market. Actually, coloring lang naman yung nag, nag, nagpapapula sa ano, hot dog eh. But they have this sausage, pork sausage. So, it tastes the same. Pero masarap pa rin. The sauce, ang sarap, Pinoy style, because you can taste mm, ketchup, banana ketchup. Yung Pinoy style spaghetti is actually incomplete without banana ketchup. ba Alam nyo yun mga Filipinos. Mmm. Manamis na miss. Mga sim nga sim. Perfect. So this one is from Lynn's dessert. And then tikman natin kung masarap ba ito. It's only 100 baht. And then you can uh, call Atilin in this. Here, I'll put it here. Wow! Then you can also inquire kung magkano siya. Pwede din naman na ipa-deliver lang through Grab or any application na mag-deliver sa condo or apartment ninyo within Bangkok, Thailand. Para mas mura siya. Oh my God! Mukbang-mukbang, di ba? One thing I like it here. One thing that I like, sa yama cake nito, it's not so sweet. At the same time, hindi siya na nag overpower talaga. Sa chiffon cake versus sponge cake nito. Mm. At nilagyan niya pala ng ano, chocolate syrup. Di ba? So there you go, my dear. Thank you so much for watching my vlog today. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please comment down below kung ano yung food or anong food ang gusto nyo na kinain ko ngayon. So once again, thank you so much to all Filipino business owners here in Bank of Thailand or in any part of Thailand. Thank you so much dahil sa inyo na ibsa ng aming pangungulila sa Pilipinas through Filipino foods. Not only Filipino food, but masasarap ng mga Filipino foods that we can always remember and reminisce the memories back home kasi hindi tayo makaka-away sa pandemic na ito. So, in-upgrade nila ako. And this is Sweet Platinum Room. And this is my view for tonight.